a new category of Prosecco. I know, I'm so excited about it and I want you to be too. Prosecco is a sparkling wine. Well, it's only made of one grape, that is until now, a Glera grape. Now it's allowed to be made of only 85% Glera and 15% other. The other is more than likely going to be a Pinot Noir. It's a rosé. There's never been one before. They're brand new. Wow, are they delicious. Watery watermelon, raspberry, strawberry, and of course that wonderful bubbly fruit taste that only a Prosecco can offer. They're drank young. The new Prosecco that is a rosé Prosecco is absolutely delicious. Please give it a try and let me know what you think. They're priced around $15 to $22 per bottle. There are several on the market, and I even had a difficult time acquiring a bottle. They're that exclusive. They're delicious. They're great served with deviled eggs and your barbecue dishes on the grill this summer. And we're going to have a great time exploring Rosé Prosecco. I couldn't wait to share it with you. It's beautiful as you can see, that deep, rich pink color. They're lovely, please give them a try. In fact, we're going to talk about rosé all together. Rosés are actually pink wines. They used to be called blush back in the 80s, and yes, I'm dating myself just a bit. They're now called rosés. They're dry. They pair beautifully with egg dishes, pulled pork, barbecue chicken, fish dishes. They're extremely versatile. That's one of the joys of having them around this time of year. They're affordable. They usually range from around $15 to about $30 per bottle and they're easily accessible. I prefer the ones from France, but there are lots of others, check them out. I also like some from uh, South Africa. It's a Cabernet Sauvignon Motorbosch. The ones I have today is the Prosecco Rosé, the Les Dupoines, which is from France. It's beautiful. Careful when you buy a rosé. Some people say they taste watery. Well, purchase one that's made with a really sturdy grape, like a Grenache a Syrah, a Sansol, a Cabernet Sauvignon, a Merlot. Those wines give the blend a beautiful body, a nice texture, so you won't be struggling with anything that tastes watery. You're going to have a beautiful glass of wine. So when you see the blend, check it out. Try to find out what's in the blend. Try to go with Grenache, Merlot, those types of wines that are known for their stability. The ones I have today is the Les Dupines, which is from France, uh, the Provence area of France. It's gorgeous in the bottle. It's Grenache, Syrah, and Movedra, which are wines that offer a beautiful stability in a rosé uh, platform. Look at the bottle I have. It's small. It's called Whispering Angels. I love the bottle concept. At the top of the bottle where the foil is, and it's a twist-off cap by the way, you see angels whispering to each other. I think that's so charming. I just love this bottle. It's a half bottle and it's around $14 for the half bottle. The full bottle will double that. Well, you're going to be seeing wines, rosé, and all the other varietals in smaller bottles moving forward. You're more than likely will have a choice. You can choose from the full size bottle, which is 750 milligrams, or you can go ahead and go with the 375 milliliter bottle, which is a half bottle. You cut the cost in half, and if you're like me, you don't always want to drink a full bottle of wine, I can, but I don't always wish to. Then you can go with that half size bottle. They make such attractive gifts. So the taste associated with a classic rosé wine is going to be that heavy strawberry, wild strawberry, strawberry jam. They are dry, but you taste that berry, red berries, watery watermelon, and on the back is a beautiful citrus. I have three beautiful rosé wines. Please give them a try. They're lovely. Let me know what you think of them once you've given them a try. They're very versatile. You can add ice to a rosé, but I don't suggest it. You're going to water down the color and you're going to water down the taste of this amazing wine. A rosé. They're made from red grapes. Uh, the only difference is they add the skins to give the color. The vendor decided this is the perfect shade of pink, so I finished with the skins. They remove the skins, then you have the rosé. They are dry and fruity and very refreshing. Uh, check them out here on Wine with Wanda. I love wine and I want you to love it too. Cheers! Wine with Wanda Photography. As you all know, I have gone into the photography mode. Oh, I've fallen in love with it. It's bewitched me. So I have a book that's called Wine with Wanda Photography. It's at local libraries. Wadsworth Public Library, Summit County Libraries, 
Stark County Libraries and Mahoning County Libraries. Go and check it out. Tell me what you think of the photography. It's 8x8 hardcover and it's magnificent, if I must say so myself. Wine with Wanda Photography, it's my new thing. It's Wine with Wanda, but it's also photography. I think you'll enjoy some of the photography as it depicts wine, urban life, ethnic life, and most of all, beauty and my love of wine. I love wine. I want you to love it too. Cheers.